prophecy is strong in this place tonight. Sometimes you say, but Lord, I'm not worthy. I'm not worthy. But the Lord says, I'm not, I'm not looking for, for people that are famous. I'm not looking for people that have high credentials. I'm looking for people that are willing to lay it all down and say, Lord, I follow you. I'm going to separate myself from everything. I'm going to, I'm going to lay my life down for others. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Second Timothy chapter 1 verse 6 says, Therefore I remind you to stir up the gift of God which is in you through the laying on of my hands. For it goes on to say, For God has not given us a spirit of fear, but power, love, and a sound mind. Therefore, be not ashamed, verse 8, of the testimony of our Lord, nor of me, his promise to share in the sufferings of the gospel according to the power of God. He is saying to you, it's time to stir up the gift. The gift that's in you, that's been asleep and that's been dormant. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Holy Spirit, we welcome you, God. Come and have your way. We come against sickness and infirmities right now. We come against sickness and disease. And we rebuke you right now. And we release miracle hidden power in this place right now. God wants to set you free tonight. God wants to set you free tonight. He wants to baptize you with the fire. He wants to baptize you with the fire.
city of Dallas has been without the fire of the Holy Ghost. But he said, I'm stirring up revival in this city. I'm stirring up revival in regions. I'm stirring up revival across nations. I'm stirring up revival. the body of Christ. We're just getting started. We're just talking about the fire right now. Jesus. 
Jesus. When the Holy Spirit comes, there's no agenda. When the Holy Spirit comes in, there's no program. He says, I'm here, and I'm going to do what I want to do. This day, to clean the hills of the Oh, my God. 